Joan, <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning, John. How are you? I'm doing well. Listen, I will. Uh, I've been a hockey coach at Georgetown Prep the last eight years, so I'm gonna let it slide that you've worked for another all boys school in the area. But hopefully, we can move past that. Okay, and also my sons. I have two sons. They went to two different all boys schools, so I'm sure we have some major rivalries going on oh, right now. Absolutely. Um, first of all, congrats on being the Golden Bachelorette. I know it's been known for a while, but we're episode uh, three out fantastic how has the experience been so far it's been amazing it was amazing actually doing the whole taping and going on the whole journey and it's super fun now watching it all play back and um i finally get to see the guys like in the mansion you know i only see what i was part of and i now have this whole other like element of it that i get to watch now and so i am like totally enjoying the shows well, can I just, I mean, I've watched The Bachelor obviously before, but I like The Golden Bachelor and Golden Bachelorette because the contestants seem to be nicer. Like even the episode, the last episode of the guys going and getting sleeping stuff, it's like, oh, they're not trying to like screw each other over or one up. It's like, oh, they're all kind of, it seems like they're more uh, empathetic maybe to each other than the other shows. That makes sense. Yeah, it's so true. And like, that was the same on The Golden Bachelor when all of us women together, yeah. like we were like stabbing each other in the back. We weren't trying to climb on top of each other to get to Gary. And the same thing with the men, they're not trying to, you know, somehow, you know, push each other out of the way to get to me. They are very respectful of each other. And I think that we all realize at this age that it's not really, um, you don't want to end up in the end with the person because you got rid of the other people. You want to be selected. So, You, you want like I know when it came to me, I wanted Gary to meet everybody and have a good chance with everybody. So when he selected someone, he did it with a clear conscience, knew that he had made the right decision. And I think the guys were feeling the same way about me. Like they didn't want to backstab. They didn't want to somehow um, make each other look bad. Um, so I would choose them. I needed to get to know everybody in the right way and then choose the right, the, the person that was best for me. And also it goes the other way around. Like they need to choose me too. So they need yeah. to get to know me. Absolutely. So it's the same thing. Yep. I, I have a couple of stupid questions. Um, starting with, <laughs> since you're kind of, you're the boss of the show, do you have say in the dates? Like, do they come to you and say like, you went to, to Vegas in the last episode, they go, Hey, we can go here, here, or here. Or is it like, this is where we're going choose whoever you want, but the date's already planned. Like, do you have any like kind of sway in that? So, so a little bit of both. So um, before the show ever starts taping, um, actually a couple months before, they asked me if there were any like dates that I would like or what I think would be fun. What do I like to do? They certainly wanted to know. They didn't want to put me on a date that I wouldn't feel comfortable on. So I suggested some of the dates. I suggested the, the senior prom date. I suggested next week you're going to see a cooking date. I suggested that one. I suggested some of the dates. I said, I love a yacht date. They do them every year. I'd like to have one of those. That looks like really fun to me. I said, I'd love to go in a helicopter. I've never been in one. So they, um, based on what you say, they then, they, they then figure out the date based on like little hints, like the yacht date. So they knew like what to do or where to go. Um, so, and then you do pick the people going the date. So I, pick the people that I thought would have the most fun and like it would be most comfortable on those dates with me. Talking to our golden bachelorette, uh, Joan, being a Maryland girl, do you think a good stress test would be have the guys drive in DC traffic while it's raining? <laughs> well, it's mostly sitting, not driving, as you know, in DC traffic <laughs> when it's raining. <laughs> Take them right on the GW Parkway and see how angry they get. Oh, That's yeah. probably a great one. Now, and here's a real test too. Are you a BWI, DCA or Dulles girl? I'm a DCA girl. It's Thank about God. less like a 20 minute drive from my house. I love it. Oh. And it's the easiest airport in the world. It's small. So I'm from Minnesota originally. I moved here 12 years ago. Nobody told me what airport to land. I'm like, oh, they're all the same. Land in Dulles? <laughs> no, ma'am. Got, no, thank you. I just did it a couple weeks ago coming in from LA. It was the most convenient flight. I regret it still. <laughs> <laughs> With the, uh, the rose ceremonies, again, I just... My mind is uh, that I have a 12 year old boy. I would think the yeah. first night, how do you remember everybody's names? Because I'm always the person where it's like, I'm so focused on my own name that I forget names really easy. So, like, the first time you do a rose ceremony, <laughs> how do you know who is who? Oh, God, that was so hard. And it was probably the most, the thing I stressed most about 
before going on the show was how in the world am I going to remember everybody's <laughs> name? And I literally looked up things online saying how to best remember names. But, and I was really good. So the first limousine, the first set of like five guys, I had them down, had their faces down, had their names down. The second group of people came in, like the next five, I was good. The first 10, I was good. Yeah. And then it all went to hell. After like the next group that came in, I'm like, now I've lost them all. I don't even have any of them. <laughs> Um, fortunately you get a lot of help from the producers at that point. So sure. I would wait. The reason that it's really good when people come the first night with like a stick, like they come in in a station wagon or they come in with soup or they come in like in some special yeah. way is I can remember what they said and what they did, like what their thing was. I still had a hard time remember their names and the producers help you with that a lot. Sure. So I could remember kind of who they are. Like I could look at that guy. I'm like, he's the guy that has the three daughters. He's a girl dad and he lives in California. Or I can look at this guy and know things about him. Their names were hard. So sure. producers help you like associate the people with the names. When we watch an episode, I, I mean, about how many days are we seeing in an hour and 20 minutes of a show? I mean, is it all basically Ooh. within the same window or? So you're seeing almost a full week. Okay. So you're usually seeing, um, so the day of a rose ceremony, you have a cocktail party and a rose ceremony. You'll see a, um, a, at least one, probably two one on one dates, a group date. And then there's a lot of, you know, interactions of things happening in the mansion and other stuff that goes on. So it's usually like a, a five, probably a five day period. Got it. Again, Jen, we appreciate the time. One last question. The ideal DMV date from start to finish. What is it for you? Oh. Oh gosh. So in DMV, yeah, where, I mean, where like are we the, going? Well, so I would go to the beach, but that's not a really DMV date. So, but, <laughs> but I do love water. So I might go to Annapolis. Is, okay. Does that count? Absolutely. Can I yeah. go to Annapolis? Okay. So probably Annapolis. I love walking around Annapolis. I love all the fun seafood restaurants. I would go and do crabs someplace. Oh, I'm yeah. going to maybe need to teach somebody some of our Maryland traditions. So Absolutely. I would love to do picking crabs if it's the right time of year. Um, I just like being outside on the water. I like to sit at a cute little local bar and have a drink. So that's like easy date and you really get to know somebody. Joan Vassos, our golden bachelorette, Maryland representing. Thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. Hopefully we get to talk to you again sometime soon. I would love it. Thank you, John. It was great talking to you.